Johnny Depp has told the High Court that he lost $650 million he made at the height of his Pirates of the Caribbean fame and was left owing $100 million in taxes on account of business managers whom he accused of stealing from him. On his final day of evidence in his libel case against the son, the actor denied he had been violent towards his ex-wife Amber Heard. The court heard more about the backdrop to one alleged incident in which Depp turned up late to Heard's 30th birthday party in 2016 after receiving bad news at a meeting about his finances. She alleged he later threw a magnum of champagne at her and pulled her hair, under examination from his barrister. Depp told the court, I was in the early stages of learning from my recently acquired new business manager that the former business managers had taken quite a lot of my money. They stole my money. Pressed to say how much money was allegedly taken, he replied, it was put to me this way, because I had no idea about money or amounts of money. Since Pirates 2 and 3, I had, and this is ludicrous to have to state, it's quite embarrassing, apparently I had made $650 million, and when I sacked them, for the right reasons, I had not only lost $650 million, but I was $100 million in the hole because they had not paid the government my taxes for 17 years. Depp is suing The Sun's publisher, newsgroup newspapers, and its executive editor, Dan Wooten, over an article that called the actor a wife-beater and referred to overwhelming evidence that he had attacked her to at another stage in the evidence. Depp simulated the act of punching in order to demonstrate what a haymaker he was. The term had been used by him in what he had regarded as a secret recording. During a meeting with Heard in San Francisco in July 2016, when he could be heard to say, you fucking haymakered me, man. Depp's barrister, David Sherburn, asked what a haymaker was, to which he replied, it's just a type of wild swinging. Kind of a roundhouse punch, as it were. It's a bit of a wild swing, but effective if it reaches the target. The court was shown a photo of the actor passed out and covered in ice cream, which the court was told Heard had shown to her then-husband in 2014 to show how pathetic he had become.